Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. This year, for a Me Made May like recap, I am participating in like a group effort. Um, this is called hashtag Me Made May Lessons, and there are several of us YouTubers playing along. I have included in the description box links to all their channels so that you can go watch their me made may lessons videos too um but we're all answering seven questions about me made may um that's supposed to i don't know kind of give us some insight and um help us process you know what we learned um from me made may this year so the first question is what prompted you to join me made may this year and honestly there was really nothing that prompted me to do it other than it was may and so that means it's time to do Me Made May. Um, I have enough clothes, Me Maids, to get through an entire month. And I really like showing them off and for people to see them. I mean, I think that's the main reason why fashion even exists. So, yeah, I love showing people what I've made. And Me Made May is the perfect way to do that. What percentage of Me Made clothes do you have in your closet? I would say, well, I mean, are we factoring in like swimsuits and pajamas and stuff like that? I would say stuff that I wear like outside the house, like not special occasion pool side or anything like that, I would probably have 60%. If you factored in the swimwear and all that, it would probably be more like 40%. Um, I have a couple pajamas that I've made, no swimsuits, no lingerie, but I've got a ton of dresses and, um, some tops. So yeah, maybe a good 40%. Do you still purchase ready to wear? If so, has sewing changed the amount you purchased? Yes, I still purchase ready to wear, but only if it's on sale. And then usually if the sale is on sale or I'll buy ready to wear from Goodwill if that really counts. And it has changed what I purchase. Typically, if I can make something, I won't buy it. But if it's stuff that I struggle with making or I don't enjoy making, like I don't enjoy making t-shirts. Sorry, not sorry. So I don't make t-shirts, I just buy them. They're so inexpensive. I know, I know all the all that goes along with that I understand but I don't really wear t-shirts that often so it's not something I need a ton of but um what else oh pants still can't find sewing pattern that works and honestly to get pants to fit takes so long and it's so frustrating that I'd rather just buy ready-to-wear pants that fit in my hip and then bring them home and alter them to fit my waist. That's what I've been doing with all my shorts this summer and it's worked out pretty well so far. Um, so yeah, obviously I still, like I said, buy swimsuits, but not that many, even though I live at the beach, not as many as you'd think. Um, bras and underwear, still buy all those. Um, what else? I also, I think, I'm not buying stuff that's just like made like crap, you know, like I can't tell you the last time I bought something from Target or Old Navy or I mean even like Ann Taylor Loft and places like that. Sometimes I'll look at the construction and I'm like, really? <laughs> uh, no. Um, so yeah, it does give me a more critical eye for sure. Um, did you learn anything new about your me made clothing by joining the challenge? Yes. Every single year I learned something new. Um, this year it was that, you know, you've, you figure out these holes you have in your wardrobe, right? These gaps, um, where I would be doing something specific that day and I wouldn't have anything me made to fit it. So I found myself overdressing for a lot of occasions. <laughs> um, but really what I was missing is like casual, um, like casual tops that look good with jean shorts. And like I said, I don't love knit t-shirts. So I'm talking like camisoles. I'm talking like cute little, just like boxy sleeveless tops. Um, it was also very hot in May this year. So, you know, that, that factored in a lot. I didn't wear jeans once. Um, pants are a definite no. I didn't wear any of my maxi dresses except for one day um, when it was a little bit cooler. Um, 
or like I was going out at night or something. Anyways, so yeah, the holes are still in the separates category and um, just in a, like I have separates to wear to work, but I don't have a lot of casual separates. My work life has changed a lot. I used to go to an office every day. Now I don't. So there's a lot of different factors, you know, coming into play here. But yeah, that's what it was for me this year for sure. Um, number five, did you find anything difficult while participating in the challenge? For me, the most difficult darn part is filming yourself every day. It's hard. Like you get ready. You have your certain number of minutes that it takes you to get ready and you snooze your alarm the exact amount right times in order to fill that, you know, to give yourself just enough time to get ready. So coming in here, throwing the camera on the tripod, taking it, you know, all of that, that was the most challenging part for me. There were a couple of times when I had forgotten to do that or ran out of time. And so I was doing it at the end of the day when I'm like, Ugh. you know, it's like the last thing you want to do is put yourself on camera. Um, but other than that, it really, it's not challenging. It's fun to me. I quite enjoy it. What do you feel was the best about the challenge or lessons learned for you, if any? What do you feel was best about the challenge? Well, I kind of just liked seeing everybody else's stuff too. I mean, it's not all about me. Um, I enjoyed seeing everyone else's me maids. I enjoyed like seeing how people's personal styles became very evident. Um, even my own, I would say, in a way, um, when you're looking at someone's collection of me maids, you can tell just like what their lifestyle is like, what colors they like, you know, what things that they like to wear. You know, all of the moms had like a very specific like mom wardrobe, you know what I mean? And like the kids, the younger girls that are like, you know, in college or, you know, just graduated from college had their specific wardrobe. So I think it was kind of cool to see how everybody's style is represented, you know, by looking at like a whole catalog of all their clothes. So hopefully that answers that question. Okay, the last one is, will you join the challenge again? Yes, absolutely, 100%. You all should join it too if you haven't. Um, you have a full 11 months to sew up um, some clothes to wear and you can participate in next year's Me Made May 2019. So um, I'm going to link a video here um, to last year's Me Made May lessons or what I learned from Me Made May videos so you can kind of see what I was talking about last year versus this year. But um, also go check out all the other girls' uh, channels that are in my description box. And that's gonna do it for me. Happy Me May May, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.